is a breeding ground for roaches, mice, rats, anything like that. When you hear pest control, you might be thinking of exterminators, killing bugs, taking care of rodents. But today, we're gonna be doing a garbage chute clean out. How can I lend a hand? Let's see what you can do with this right here. Some artists use clay, others oils and pastels. Think of myself as a garbage residue artist. Let's take a look down this garbage chute. I'm Matt Miller. And this is Around Town, Town and Country Pest Solutions. You probably don't think about what happens to your trash once it's thrown away, but it's easy to imagine that close to 100 apartments worth of trash all going through the same garbage chute would require a team effort and some high-powered equipment to clean up. We tagged along with our crew to see what goes into deep cleaning 11 floors of filth and to find out why a pest control company would take on the task. Well, we've been at it for quite a while here. Brett, what have we got going? We're cleaning the garbage chutes today. Half of our team is up going floor to floor cleaning actual chute rooms, and then we got Pavel and myself down here trying to knock out the compactor. This particular building is uh, 11 floors. We stood in the top floor um, with a team of guys, the pressure washer, um, and then we, we alternate every other floor. When the 11th floor is finished, he drops the hose down to his partner on the 10th. Then we caterpillar down until we're finished in the compactor room where the bell does most of the work. A lot of coordination and this is where all the action is happening. This is where everything from all those floors is coming down and quite literally being compacted. There's never a dull moment. As the teams are going floor to floor, we're gonna to continue to get garbage thrown down on us. Pavel, how can I lend a hand? Let's see what you can do with this right here. All right, give me a good little scrape here. Yeah, show me a little technique here. Oh, that way. I haven't shared with you is we didn't put any acid on it. You're just letting me go at it unseasoned. However, it does look like it's been seasoned like a cast iron pan. The good news is this is right after Thanksgiving, so I'm sure there's some lovely feast residue here. Uh, oh, it's, a, it's like cloud shapes. This is a, a dog. Yuck. Why would a pest company do this? Because other companies aren't willing and able, but shoot rooms on each floor where there's surrounding apartments is a breeding ground for roaches, mice, rats, anything like that. It's, it's inviting for pests to become an issue. And on top of that, it makes our treatments more effective. To be honest, spraying pesticides on top of garbage really isn't gonna do a whole lot of anything. So as, as we can clean it the best we can, it's gonna make our pesticides much more effective as they should be. It really is something that needs to be done in all high rises, especially. It's recommended that at least twice a year it gets done. The longer it goes, the harder it is. Honestly, the more expensive it might get. We have to evaluate every situation and see what it's gonna take for us to do an effective job. If a building is having an issue like this, you're the guy to call, right? Absolutely. Awesome. Certainly uh, got our hands full here. Let's get down and dirty. When we crunched the numbers, we figured about 180,000 pounds of trash will go through here over the course of a year. And if a good portion of that waste are food scraps, that's plenty for pests to feast on. Removing this food source plays a huge role in our integrated pest management, even if it means spending our afternoon shoveling up trash soup. Like, I don't know what this is. This is a mixture of dirt, gunk, goop. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's some good dry stuff. We like working with this. We like working with this. The difference before and after is sparkling clean with notes of stone fruit or maybe classic citrus in the air. We do disinfect it and we have a lemon scent today. It's gonna take the edge off for lack of a better term. You know, some days you feel like you're down in the dumps, but not today. Anyway, I'm Matt Miller. We'll catch you at the next job.